Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Endless Space 2 with Zebu Nation and here we are back again episode 3 of our let's play yeah I, I Riftborn that's who it is that's who we're playing I totally blanked out on the name of these people so yes this is our Riftborn playthrough it's just uh, you know just getting started we got a small little uh, galaxy here we're looking at actually the galaxy is pretty huge as you can see we've only discovered a tiny fraction of it so we're gonna start working on that we got two scout ships we can start sending around to places this one has launched all of its probes um, I'm gonna stop scanning things in our area right now because we got this little uh, little uh, quest we're on to, to scout five curiosities with a hero our hero is not yet level 3, so we're going to just, uh, you know, continue to move on. I don't think there's anything the scout ship can do just sitting here, so I guess I'll move him to where he can do some good. We're going to end the turn. Get this thing rolling. All right, it is 9.15 p.m., so we're going to end this video at 9.45. All right, that makes sense. We got some research completed, off-world agribusiness, so we got infinite supermarkets and treaty, so we can do some a little bit of diplomacy now, that's good. Up next is xenolinguistics, so we can build some new infrastructure here, the xeno-industrial infrastructure, which gives us a lot of production. And we'll also be able to refine some titanium that will uh, help us you know, make advances and such. Empire level 2 development. Endless Research Park and Endless World. Hmm. Built near the remains of an endless outpost, this giant industrial park will aid in exploiting and understanding galactic history. As visitors and scholars come to see it, and as new historical events and objects are discovered, it creates enormous wealth and knowledge for its builders. There are also there is also a giant entertainment complex connected to it, Endless World where you can visit AR augmented ruins and see the galaxy as the Endless did. So this is something that takes a lot of production to build. It takes 10 titanium, which we don't have at the moment, adamantium. What is that? Anyway, it takes 10 things we don't have. 10 hyperium, which we do have, and a heck of a lot of production, but it gives you a lot of stuff. Especially in like a devoted and loyal star system. So if we could build this. If we could build this in our home system, it would be pretty good. So we'll, tr we'll try to work on that. Now once we get. Yeah, once we get xenolinguistics. Then we can start producing some titanium and we'll be able to build that thing. So we'll work on that. Um... Speaking of that, we have anomalies here. I mean, that could be some more titanium. No, we've already got titanium here. So we got two worlds producing titanium, so okay, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Alright, let's move our ships. Let's go. I'm just thinking not out loud, which is bad. I should be thinking out loud on this kind of game because I'm trying to communicate with viewers who might be you um, and I should uh, speak my thoughts alright end the turn let's go let's keep rolling let's get <laughs> discover some new things we got lots of beeps going on objective achieved by unknown empire be the first to produce 100 dust in a single star system wow that's a lot look right now we're producing 28 so somebody producing, you know, three times more than us. Look out. All right, anyway. Your empire... Another empire has achieved this legendary deed. All right, that's fine. Get out of here. What did we produce? We can now colonize ash planets. So that's fun, I guess. And up next... Oh, no, we did colonize an ash planet. We colonized Zinnius. And up next, we got a colony ship. So let's take a look. Zinnius 1. We moved one of our Riftborn from over here 
to over there. That's kind of what we want to do. Take a look at this planet. A lot of production. Some dust, but that's about it. We don't really need food as far as I can tell. So there's no reason in uh, building it. But we got a colony over here we can build, so we might as well do that. Just boost our colonies all over the place, then we'll grab another population. And get this train a rolling. All right. <clears throat> Let's move our ships around. Uh oh, uh oh, I saw a ship here. This could be a pirate ship coming up. That's not good. We don't have any warships or anything. I don't know if we can even build any warships at the moment. No, oh, all we got are these. We could design a new warship, maybe. You know, based off of our scout ship, we could, like, irrational class and imaginary class. That's hilarious. So we've got a colonizer. So what sort of ship could we build? I mean, I like the... Look at how cool these ships are. They got, like, the little pods floating off the bottom. So we could build a ship with two weapons and some support modules. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Our, our cannons are these little pods. That's so cool. I really love that design. All right, then we put an engine on the back. We put armor. Nope. Nope. We don't have. We can't put armor or shields on this thing. So is this good enough to take out a pirate? Um. Seventy-eight attack, forty-five defense. You know, we could give it repair. And would another engine actually do anything for us? Right now it has six movement. We could give it nine movement and it would fly all over the galaxy. Um, oh, we need to name the design. Okay. Uh, let's see. What would this be? We're going to call this... The hunter. Just because that's basically all it can do. It's just to like hunt little pirates. We'll see if that actually is useful or not. We're gonna build one. We're gonna build a hunter class and see what's up. Alright. Sort of the best warship we could possibly put out there. I'm just, I'm so paranoid about these pirates. Man, that is a long jump. It's a long jump. That's the only way into our little section of the galaxy, so that's cool. Got a probe going out this way and a probe going out that way, not finding much of anything. So I guess that's good. The moment, oh, we have found the pirate base. Number of turns before a new pirate fleet appears, 7. Power of the pirate layer, 1. This planet cannot be colonized until the pirate layer is destroyed. Let's take a look here. Guiana 1. Tunneled slipgates anomaly. Guiana 2. Huge gas warm planet. Has an unknown curiosity there. Guinea. Guiana 3. Small savanna. There's the pirate base on the lava. So I don't know how to attack these things. I don't know the way we, we would want to. Start expedition. Search for curiosities. Launch probes. What's the difference between... Oh, this is just like launching a probe in a random direction, which we don't want. This is actually, you know, 
looking at the curiosities. So let's let's look at the atmosphere of curiosity. We're gonna probe this pirate planet. How about that? How you like them apples, Mr. Pirates? Anatomy shattered crust. The surface of this planet is a riot of cliffs, chasm ridges, and spikes. While the broken surface means that many mineral resources can be easily mined, it also means that transport and construction will be challenging. So plus two dust, minus one happy, minus one production, and minus two happiness. All right, that's no good. Also, oh, we gained a battle tactic. The fewer and the proud get a fleet damage boost each time an allied ship is destroyed. Uh, use it if you think you will suffer heavy losses or if you have plenty of ships. <laughs> it's funny. Funny in a, uh, not a ha-ha way, but in a, uh, yeah way. All right, expedition. Successful. Life form. Blue cap mold. Blue cap mold is a luxury deposit. This is a form of mushroom that contains a potent narc... Oh, potent nootropic. A remnant of endless biogenetics. It is derived from a fungal spores and can survive deep space. It's highly sought after in spite of its side effects, which is craving for pastries and rapid hair growth. Effects within the system plus four science. That's interesting. So we got some blue cap mold. Should we want to use that? All right. So um, I don't know if or how or when we can attack these pirates. Do we have to invade the system? Oh, the Reavers got 300 manpower. They got 60 battalions of infantry, or whatever you want to call those divisions. I don't know what they call them, but it's some sort of military... Some sort of military unit. They got 60 of them. We got 8. That ain't no good. That ain't gonna happen anytime soon. So I think we're just going to have to consolidate our forces down here in Gaikon. And stop these pirates from invading our area. So I think we're going to need that uh, hunter sooner rather than later. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's go. Here we go. We got Xenolinguistics. So, you know, industrial infrastructure, so we can build that. And titanium, we can now start exploiting titanium. That's good. All right, what do they want us to look at? I think we start need to start thinking about military because we got pirates here. So, we're going to go with the uh, N Way Fusion up next. Uh oh, Cooperative Quest started. Rumor of the Academy. So, we should know this quest by heart this is one of the main quest lines that uh, occur i've read this out loud before but we'll just read the bottom part they are as few in number as they are great in power the heroes of the galaxy they learn their skills at a place simply referred to as the academy be the first to find this place and some of its secrets will certainly be yours so we need to explore five atmospheric curiosities, and then we'll get a clue as to where the uh, the academy is located. And if we're the first to do it, we'll get some nice bonuses. 30 Hyperium, 80 Influence, and 200 Dust. That is well worth it. So we need to start looking for some atmospheric curiosities. Which we probably already scouted too many of them. And, you know... We've reached a dead end here. We're going to need warp drive in order to go any farther. So let's take a look at our science. And find out where warp drive might be. It's probably under science and exploration. And there it is. Baryonic shielding. So let's add that to the queue. Um, titanium probes could help us out. Hyperium probes could also help us out. Maybe we'll go for that. Um, 
Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at more research because we got not a lot. Okay. Okay, let's figure out how this works. That's how this works. The other thing we need is we need new kinds of ships. So we need efficient shielding. So first we'll go with baryonic shielding. And then we'll go with efficient shielding, which will get us some new ship types so we can actually build some better ships. Um, yeah, do we have all of our first level technology? We don't have planetary landscaping, which I don't know that we particularly need, because we don't really need a lot of food, if any food at all, other than for our other races, I guess, need food. But we've only got one other race right now, and they're doing fine. So I think we'll go with the ubiquitous surveillance, and then we'll work on some other stuff. Um... Academy Embassy, that is huge. We need that so that we can get more heroes. You know, that way, once the Academy is found, then if we have an embassy to the Academy, then every so often we'll get more heroes. So that's good right there. We'll need that. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, so let's move our ships. Get everybody over here in Gaikon. There's that enemy fleet. The 6th Savage Pirates. 122 attack, 190 defense. That ain't no good. And there's two of them. Prowlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small attack. Eh, 41 attack, 67 defense each. Oh, that one is big. 80 attack, 123 defense. So, yeah, that's going to be tough. Tough to defend against those guys. Latest political survey. Oh, my gosh, we got so many new political parties. We got the industrialists obviously leading the way with 44% of the vote, or at least the polls, the survey. Ecologists next with 22%. Religious is just there with a sliver of 6%. Then we have the scientists at 70%, pacifists at 11 All right. Much more diverse political system than we had just a couple of turns ago. Um, are there any anomalies here? There's an atmospheric curiosity right there. We shall launch the probe anatomy anomaly anomaly let's say the word shattered crust again and star logs plus five experience on the ship all right that's good subterranean curiosity there's another atmospheric curiosity let's get that there we go hostile fauna look at that big old dinosaur looking hippopotamus thing while the beasts of this planet were first described as giant, primal, and impressive, a more accurate description would have been clever, silent, and ravenous. Though they are eagerly hunted and in fact are a good food source, few people enjoy living on a planet where the food pyramid is in fact a circle. Yes, I agree with that. Although we're just like robot shells, so I don't know if that's that important. But I guess the question is, if our robot body dies, do we die? Like, have we permanently transferred our consciousness from our old universe into the new universe? I think that's how it works. Because our old universe is dying, right? So, like, we gotta get out of there, and we can't just leave our consciousness connected to that universe. Because once it dies, then we would die anyway. So, we must be fully transferring our consciousness over to these new robotic bodies. And so, once that dies, I guess we're done. We're not like Cylons, where we can... Just re-upload or something. Anyway, we got 150 dust for loot. That's pretty good. Solo quest started. We got so many quests going on. Dust to Dust Part 1. With your scientists baffled, this is too good a chance to learn something potentially revolutionary. Even if it's out of the way, orbiting the asteroid field is a small... Is a smart choice. Alright. So I guess we could read the rest of it. But I don't really want to. Anyway, send a fleet to the quest marker. Where is this quest marker? Colombia. Okay. We can do that. 
We can send a fleet to Colombia. Let's go. Done. All right. Gonna end the turn? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, we got our new ship here. This, though, I think is our colony ship. Yeah, this is our Geist. So, you know, I guess we're going to send the colony ship up to Viacarus. And, uh, you know, start a new colony up there. Oh, somebody is probing us. Somebody has sent a probe in our direction. That is a long, stinking way for a probe to come. It had to have come from someplace close, like maybe over here? I don't know. We're going to have to keep an eye on that and see which, which, which direction this is going. If it's going north or south or however these directions work. Let's take a look. Let's move our ships. Okay, that probe didn't move, so we're going we're gonna to worry about that later, I guess. We did get some production. There's our geist that we built. And up next, we're colonizing a snow planet. So that's good. Happy about that. Good times. Party on. Party people. Uh, yeah, so let's end the turn. Let's watch this probe. See which way it goes. Oh, the academy has been discovered by an unknown empire. That was freaking quick, man. How did that happen? Cooperative request. Complete rumor of an academy. Um, another empire discovered the location of the academy. This quest is no longer relevant. All right. So I guess we can stop doing whatever that was. But if we build our academy embassy, we'll still get our heroes. So that's, that's all we were worried about. Snow colony has been completed. Nice. And now we got machine embodiment. So we're going to bring another population into the world. And fill up some of these slots. You know, we could actually probably do a few of those. Here's those singularities I was talking about at the beginning of the map. Or the beginning of the series, which we haven't done yet. Right now we can do the dilation singularity. Cost 20 Hyperium. That seems like a lot right now. And 100 dust. And one turn. It slows everything down. So minus 25% on everything. Dust, food, production, all that. Minus 50% experience for heroes. Minus 50% recovery rate. Minus 0.5 depletion points. And minus 50% experience points on ships. So basically, if there's some system that you just want to slow down their growth, you drop this on it. So this is not something you want to do on your home systems. You want to do this, I think, on enemy systems. And on the other side of that is the compression singularity, which increases everything by 100%. Experience, recovery rate, depletion points, plus one. 100% experience on ships, plus 25%. So this is a way to speed up your home systems. Like if you want to like get your production out of the way, get all your stuff boosted up into warp drive. But it depletes your planets. So you got to watch. You can't use it like all the time. You just got to use it when you need a boost, basically. So we're going to add some more population. Um, we're going to add the Xeno industrial structure, interplanetary transports. You know, we're just going to boost, boost everything. We're going to save the public-private until we get some more dust. Because we're going to have a lot of upkeep, so we're going to need to work on our dust production real soon. Alright. Let's back out of this. Let's move our fleets around. Got stuff happening, stuff going on. We're going to click here and uh, defend that system for now. 
And that's about it. So we'll end the turn. Let's go. Alright. So. Academy power has increased. The academy has reached level 2. Heroes will start at this level when recruited. So that's good. And our hero has finally leveled up to level 3. Let's assign some skills. Skills. With a Z. Um, we're going to need to start paying for stuff now. So we'll add plus... 5% dust. But on the other hand, we can now s send this guy out because he's level 3. Do hero management. Um, unassign, assign to a fleet. Apparently, we can't do that. So we have to unassign him first, and then maybe next turn we can assign him to a fleet. All right. Let's uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Let's move our ships around. Solo quest completed. Dust to Dust Part 1. Using your crystal sample as a guide, you've led your fleet to a large barren planet, apparently rich in minerals. But your, spanner, your scanners pick up no signs of life. Your team sets up a temporary camp on the surface, taking the opportunity to gather some potentially useful resources while a smaller group makes an exploratory sweep. So we got 30 Hyperium out of that. That's good. Send a fleet to the quest marker. We did that. Alright, solo quest started. Dust to Dust Part 2. After performing a brief survey, one of your geologists has come to you with astonishing news. The planet is littered with thousands of small pockets of dust. Not dust in its natural form, but dust scattered in clumps and jagged patterns in the crystalline bedrock, almost as if the planet had once been violently struck by thousands of dust-bonded meteorites. A simple piezoelectric test confirms your geologist's suspicions. She advises that it will take months of further study before the dust can be extracted in any usable form. You do not mention to her you do not mention it to her, but the planet gives you a strange feeling. You feel as if you are treading over a long-forgotten graveyard. But a spare cache of dust could be useful. So, the dead are dead, and even if this might be a somewhat disrespectful act, your empire needs the dust. So reward 150 dust. Send an expedition to the indicated curiosity on Columba 2. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dust deposits of this magnitude may have already attracted salvage gangs, so it might be best to get ready for a fight. All right, we don't want we don't want to fight just yet. We want to wait for our uh, hunter ship to get there. Um, so right now we'll just sort of defend that area and end the turn. Unassigned heroes, hero management, assigned to fleet. Why can we not assign to a fleet? Cancel. Alright, we'll, we'll create fleet. Set the system. Create a fleet. that did did we just assign him back to the planet i don't know we'll take a look here all right so we finished n few n way fusion we can now build impervious bunkers which is a system defense gives us 150 extra manpower and we got the chain gang program so we can convert one population into 300 manpower next research baryonic shielding we'll do that Diplomatic relation has changed with the Bagaba. We've gone from neutral to cordial. I like the little bear face there. The minor civilization will provide you with a small portion of their resources and will let you repair, retrofit your ships in their system. Nice. Technology stage unlocked military 2. We can now build G-War camps. Ha. Huh. 
So this will allow us to uh, train our manpower and gives us extra manpower capacity. All right, that's good. Fleets. All right, there is our new guy. So we need to explore five curiosities with a hero level three or higher. So this is what we've been waiting for. Explore them dang old curiosities. Okay, apparently nothing happened. Did we just destroy that curiosity? What happened? Hmm. That was weird. Oh, there we go. Expedition failed. I have never seen this before. That's hilarious. Your analysis of the Curiosity Subterranean did not reveal anything of interest. Come on, buddy. Your first attempt is a failure. What is wrong with you? You can send your little ship over here. Maybe, might you get pirate attack, but that's okay. You're our most powerful warship at the moment. Move our fleets. Okay, end the turn. Oh, here we go. Election. This is a good place to end it off with a nice election. So we have our man E here. This is just, that's his name. Just E. I never looked at that before, but that's kind of funny. Um, he is up for the industrialists. 44%. So he is the leader. None of our other political parties have any leadership. Or at least, uh, you know, anybody as famous as E here. So let's take the next step in our voting breakdown here we go the industrialist well in the lead seems to be it only four representatives in the whole empire so there we go we have a functional government E has been voted as the leader we can now use the mineral miser act plus one resource generation Plus 15 production per strategic deposits. That's pretty good. I didn't see any downfall to that either. So maybe we should enact that law. Whoops. Your outpost has turned into a colony on Dentist here. Oh, they just missed out on the elections. We're low on manpower. That's no good. And we got a battle at Gaikon. This is no good. They are they outnumber us greatly. I mean, two ships to one, but in terms of firepower, we have 37 attack, 45 defense. Both their ships are way, may, way better than that, so we're going to retreat. And... Um, I love the dust windfall. That's too good to get rid of. New colony... I mean, we just got a new colony, so that's good. We should have got that bonus, right? Gives us a lot of happiness and food, but we don't really need happiness or food. So let's abolish that law, and let's pass a new law. Let's pass the Mineral Miserly Act. And get some more production and some more resources. What do we got here? We've only got five titanium, so we got to get some more titanium. All right, our boy here is about to run into some pirates. I don't think he can take them out by himself, even though he is our strongest ship. 75 attack, 118 defense. He's still not as good. He can't take out both those ships, so we're going to have some problems. Oh, we got an idle system here, our new colony. Let us do the thing we do, drone network. Uh, machine embodiment Xeno industrial Cerebral reality Interplanetary All that stuff Alright, that's pretty good So we're going to build all that junk Here and uh, Yeah, so we're going to end it there i got a little bit of a problem going on 
We're gonna have to rally our forces to take care of these pirates, which is always the case when you got these pirates. We gotta get... It's the thing that forces you to work on your military, because otherwise you could just sit here and colonize and scan and do all this sort of fun stuff and not worry about the battles. So this is a way to introduce you to the battles and introduce you to the whole military industrial complex that you have to be a part of. All right. So we're going to end it there with our third episode coming to a wrap right now. See you later. Bye-bye.